Oscar on YouTube. How y'all doing today? It's about 27 degrees today, Fahrenheit. It's been raining just a little bit. Every day this week. Oh. Rain just a little bit yesterday, rain just a little bit today. It rained a good bit a few days ago. We got another three, four days of rain this week. Weather is going is, is going real good next week. Oh uh, from what I was seeing. Hey, 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 hey. Weather for growing grass is going to be going real good next week. We are supposed to get another uh, two three days of rain next week it's a 50 percent chance of rain on uh on i believe it's uh, five days or so next week so i think it's going to rain two or three days next week just uh just a bit this grass has started to grow back it's uh it's, it's noticeably growing back i'm able to just see it from over here when I take a good look at it, this grass is already probably an inch tall. It's probably already an inch. This grass will likely be up past my ankles by next week. I'm 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 going to just estimate that this grass will be up past my ankles by next week with current weather conditions with how much moisture there is in this soil. This grass is also regrowth grass. So this grass, when it was planted originally, this is an annual rye grass. When this grass was planted originally, it was planted via seed. It was planted via seed. It, uh, frost killed it back to its roots. Now it is growing back with some warmer, with uh, this warmer weather. Excuse me. This warmer weather is letting this grass grow back is uh when that frost killed this grass this uh this grass uh, it, it died back to its roots so now that weather conditions are good this grass is growing back from its roots so a grass that grows back from its roots has a disproportionately large root system compared to its leaf area, I guess is a, is a way to put it. To how much actual grass is growing above ground, there's a lot more root underneath than what would normally happen. Like if I planted a seed, that seed germinated, it would grow some leaf, it would grow some roots. When frost kills that, that grass back, it, uh, there, there's still that root mass underneath with very little foliage on top. So that, uh, that foliage on top will actually grow back a bit faster because there's just such uh, a large amount of uh, root mass underneath it. I would estimate with current weather conditions, with everything going on, that this grass is gonna be up to my ankles. By next week when I went to go pick up corn residue a couple days ago I went uh, uh, one town over those uh, they I mean they're they're uh, one town over it's, it's maybe a half an hour drive or so but they uh, they got huge silage farms over there they are growing some kind of a grass silage uh, it's probably a uh, who knows how many acres it is in all honesty it's uh there's more acres than my eyes can see i was over there i was driving for about uh, 20 minutes going uh, 45 miles an hour all i was doing was driving by silage farms silage with uh cattle that, that's that's uh, what they got going on over there i know it's silage because they got those big uh so silage They get that plant matter, then they'll uh, they'll uh, wrap it in plastic. It's a high moisture forage. 
much. They'll wrap it in plastic. They'll uh, pull all that air out of it so that it ferments. It's like uh, uh, human beings ferment food. Well, silage is just fermented food for cattle, feed for cattle. So I know that they got silage going on just because they have those huge uh, plastic wraps. It's almost like greenhouse size, like caterpillar tunnels. They got just rows, 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 rows of them, dozens of them just out there. I mean, they, they are taller than me. They, they are legitimately the size of greenhouses. And uh, th those farms are already uh, running their uh, pivots on full blast. They are irrigating just... They, they were irrigating yesterday. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we got a lot of ground moisture. They are, they were still irrigating. So they got those uh, pivots running a full blast out there. It must have been a few 10,000 acres. They got those huge silage uh, wraps everywhere, put up everywhere. So, yep. Uh, I would think that uh, grass seed, it, 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 we're gonna get, we got a, uh, well, okay, so silage, grass hay stuff like this it needs to be dried real 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 good i believe it's under 20 percent or so moisture silage is baled at high moisture so silage even if it's wet they're able to bale it then they uh then they wrap it up in plastic that um well i'm who, who knows what's going on with them but when i looked at what was going on with them I figured that they uh, they just risking it for a, a big old biscuit right now because they probably need that hay with this with this severe hay shortage going around. They need cattle feed. They uh, they have a means to do it, so they 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 uh, they, they, they 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 are risking it for uh, for a, a silage crop. From my weather, from weather that I'm seeing right now, this uh, we should have at least two weeks of good weather here. Their, uh, their grass, they, they must have been uh, irrigating, they must have been uh, fertilizing for uh, since, uh, since since that frost because their grass was already up uh, to about my shin. It must have been uh, five, six inches tall. So if they keep at it in these next two weeks, even if they have to cut it early for silage, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll get a good, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot of acres. Yeah, all these animals have been uh, quote unquote fixed. <laughs> they, they've, uh, yep, they, uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. Uh, yep, they're growing some kind of grass silage over there. It ain't corn. They are growing a, uh, a grass silage of some sort. Maybe rye grass. Who knows? I got rye grass over here. Uh, I, I didn't really, uh, take a real good look i was driving so yeah they got uh they got their pivots on full blast they are growing they are growing that uh that silage over there right now i have decided to keep these animals for as long as possible just because by next week i'll pretty much have an all uh, a buffet over here this grass will be growing in faster than these cattle can eat it by next week I have a uh, one weeks of uh, alfalfa supply left over at this point, so I have uh, until uh, this time next week to feed these cattle. Just uh, feed feed them with uh, dry forage. By that time, this uh, this grass will have grown. I would guess. Well, my, my, this grass over here is definitely fertilizer deficient. I would definitely need to put fertilizer on this grass. I would say that from all this dead grass, they probably still got about 15 pounds an acre of, uh, of nitrogen fertilizer on it. Just from all this dead grass. As long as that grass uh, rots, as long as that gra well, gra grass will decompose slowly. So as it decomposes, it will uh, release some of that mineral back into, into this soil to be fertilizer for this new growth. I would just estimate that I got about 15 pounds of nitrogen on this soil right now just from all that dead grass. If I went through here, if I put, let's say, I would like to put another 25 pounds of nitrogen on this field to make it an even 40. 
If I was gonna drive through this field right now to put 50, uh, 25 pounds of nitrogen on this field, it would it would do so much damage to this field. It just it, it, I would rather just leave it alone. I'm gonna let it grow back on its own. Then uh, yep. Yeah. Within uh, we, by 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 uh, sometime March, I'll have uh, all these cattle gone to market. Then I will uh, uh, get ready to plant hay. Yeah, I'll be holding these uh, cattle for as long as possible. Just because I got I got fours growing in right now. It's late January, but yeah, grass grows real well here in Texas. About uh, nine out of ten years, I would say uh, nine out of ten years for about eleven months a year, grass will grow here. So that's one of our huge uh, advantages in terms of uh, just being able to feed cattle for very low cost got huge uh, grass silage farms too they they run uh well corn is technically grass too so corn is is a grass so yeah but i'm talking about other types of grass they uh got rye grass all sorts of grass um uh, i believe there's like winter wheat all sorts of stuff going on but yeah we got large 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 uh, grass uh, other than corn grass uh silage farms around here Grass just grows real well here. Uh, 11 out of 12 months, maybe even a little bit more than 11 out of 12 months, nine out of 10 years, we'll, we'll have grass growing. Grass will just grow here. Oh my gosh. This grass is a, uh, it's a, uh, hey. It's a, uh, grass on this field right now is an annual ryegrass. This annual ryegrass will still survive. It's 27 degrees here right now. This annual ryegrass will still survive. It will still survive this weather. Annual ryegrass is real good stuff. It's practically indestructible from what I've seen. Cattle can walk all over and it'll grow back. Just toss some seed out, broadcast it over some soil. It may grow in unevenly, which is a huge disadvantage. It, 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 it'll take the moisture it'll wash that grass seed away uh, yeah and where grass is good stuff it puts a lot of weight on these cattle this may be a re uh, this may be a uh, regrowth uh, grass with zero fertilizer on it i would still uh, like if i got it tested i would still think that it's gonna be uh close to 12 to 16 percent protein something around there it's still gonna have a lot of protein in it Annual ryegrass is known for having a, a lot of protein, especially with new growth. My my, uh, my mouth is going numb. Got this. My, 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 uh, my face is going numb. <laughs> Got a lot of wind. Got a lot of moisture too. But, yeah, annual ryegrass is known for having a lot of protein in it, particularly with new growth. If I got this grass tested, I would th I would think that it's going to be somewhere between 12 to 16 percent. Zero uh, only fertilizer on it was a uh, fertilized grass from last year that's uh, decomposing. So yeah, uh, annual ryegrass puts a lot of weight on these cattle. Big problem with annual ryegrass in Texas is that uh, by the time that it's time to harvest it, it's usually too wet. So it's either got to be harvested as silage or baleage usually. If I was going to wait to harvest a uh, Rye grass, right when it should be uh, harvested. Oh well, that that grass would have probably gone to seed already. So that'd be a might. In all honesty, at that point, it, it would have just been a better investment to plant a different grass instead of uh, instead of waiting to harvest that rye. It would have been better to just till it into that field than uh, than plant a different grass because something like a Sudan grass will grow from uh, seed to harvest in 45 days. So. Yeah, ryegrass is good for a winter forage. It'll uh, survive this cold weather. Also, there's a zero risk of any sort of uh, prusic acid poisoning. So, even if Sudan grass, even if a uh, pearl millet, if any, if any of that stuff could survive this cold weather, it would, it would, uh, it would be a, a risky grass just because if it got cold like this, even if it survived, it produce a lot of prusic acid. So, that would be a real, real. real potential uh, poison hazard for these uh for the bovines for cattle in summertime if i was going to graze uh cattle 
I meant to say, uh, I, I know that in one of my other videos I said a pro miller, but I meant to say bohia grass. If I was going to let, like, if, if I think later in this year, if I truly believe that cattle prices are going to go high, if hay prices are going to go li uh, lower, or if uh, cattle prices are going to go high, I would plant bohia grass because bohia grass could be grazed at any point with a zero risk of prussic acid poisoning. It's just a real slowing grass with uh, uh, lower hay yields than Sudan grass. So if I was going to grow hay, I'd rather grow Sudan grass. But, uh, yep, if, uh, if I was going to graze these uh, cattle, if I was just going to feed cattle all through summer, just year round, because cattle prices, I believe, I truly believe cattle prices were going higher, I would plant, uh, I would drill uh, bohia grass into this field instead of, I, I meant to say bohia grass, I said pro vanilla. Yep. He keeps, oh, it's, it's a different, animal. hey, knock it off. A lot of moisture in this air. I'm just freezing out here. I gotta get these cattle fed and get inside. Y'all have a good one.